Hi, welcome back. Now let's go ahead and finish this up. We linked the distance output into the yaw of the wing nut. This gave us a small amount of rotation, but not enough to really notice. The number that the distance script is outputting is just too small for our needs in this situation. We need to increase it. So open the math components library in the stack. We can see the library contains functions, operations, logic, and matrices and vectors. We will be using components from the operations library. Drag and drop a binary operation from the library and click the default tab on the node. This will allow us to perform mathematical operations using two inputs. Now click and drag on the link just outside of the yaw of the wing nuts expanded matrix. The link will disconnect and you can then drag it into the A input of the binary operation node. Now we can perform all different kinds of mathematical operations with the math nodes. We can of course do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, but we can also perform minimum, maximum, etc. We are going to set it to multiplication so that we can increase that distance amount and in turn increase the rotation. So let's try multiplying it by 10 and see what that looks like. Now we'll link the result into the ya yeah and test it out. We can see that there's a little more rotation, but it's still not what we're looking for. So let's change the multiplication to 100 and test it again. The rotation is much better now, but still a little too slow to be winding onto those threads. Let's increase it one more time to 400. Now that looks pretty close. I think we'll stick with that. Now the rotation looks good, but we really don't want the wing nut rotating in the air. We want to give it a more realistic appearance by having it spin only when it's on the bolt. There's actually a simple solution to this. First, let's lower the wing nut down to about the spot we want it to start rotating. This looks about right. Now if we look at the yaw input, we can see that we want it to start rotating only when it drops below 1420. So let's pull out another binary operation and place it just under the offsetter. Now disconnect the link from the yaw and plug it into the A input of the new math node. We don't want to perform multiplication this time. Instead, we'll change the operation to minimum. So type M-I-N. Now type 1420 into the B input. This will act as a stopper. It will not output any number larger than 1420. So link the result into the ya yeah input again. Now the rotation will never go over 1420, thus making it stop rotating when it's above the bolt. We can test this and see that indeed it only turns while on the bolt. It looks pretty good. We're almost done. There's only one small thing to do. If you notice, the wing nut will move right through the metal shafts if we move down too far. Let's create another stopper that will make the wing nut stop when it reaches the bottom. First, position the wing nut about where we want it to stop. Then move the offsetter over to make room for another math node. Drag another binary operation node into the LE right beside the offsetter. Disconnect the TZ link and drag it into the A input of the new math node. Now this time, we're going to perform the maximum operation, so type MAX. Now if we look at the current height of the wing nut, it is set to 1.863. I think maybe I'm going to go just a tad lower to 1.82. Now if we move the scrubber, we can see that the output will not go any lower than 1.82. So let's finish it off by linking the result back into the TZ. Now the Z movement of the object will stop at 1.82. If we test it out, we can see that it works perfectly. We've now just created a very simple yet very effective behavior. The wing nut starts rotating when it hits the bolt and stops when it reaches the bottom. Now I would like to point out that there is another useful math node called the unary operation. This will perform a mathematical operation on a single input. You can perform operations such as cosine, sine, and square root. So keep in mind that many different math functions can be performed with both the binary and unary math nodes. Now I encourage you to play around a little with different math operations and pay close attention to what each does. Also try linking into different matrix inputs and see what happens.
Creating behaviors will become easier and easier the more you do it. They can save a lot of time when animating. For instance, with this scene, all we have to do now is animate the Z movement for the object. The behavior will take care of the rest. Or we could make it an interactive scene for viewing in TruePlay. Don't be afraid to experiment. There's a lot of power to tap into here.